This house actually has a killer pool waterfall. Okay, what's up? We're back. Josh Altman's YouTube channel with my boy, Matt Stomberg. What's up, Matt? Back at it again, baby. Let's All right, rock. Altman brother assassin just crushing the game right now. Newest listing, 1130 Carolyn Way. We are in prime time Beverly Hills right now. We are on just under half an acre, situated about two minutes north of Beverly Hills Hotel to give you a little bit of the area. This house behind us is incredible. In fact, it's barely been lived in from the last time it sold and we just put it on the market now. 12,000 square feet. You got seven beds in the main house with nine bathrooms. You've also got a full guest house with a full bathroom on this side as well. And the beauty of this, you also got views from downtown to the ocean. That's right, let's go check it out, come on. It's 0.41 acres of flat yard, which in Beverly Hills, it's like you get the beautiful mansion, sometimes you get the view, or you get the yard. Very rarely do you get the view and the yard. And that's what we have here, which is what I think sets us apart from everything else. The way the house was built, as far as both we're gonna see later, you've got subterranean parking. So you got five cars there. You've also got a double gated entry on the front we're gonna show you for an additional four cars. So you've got great frontage, but then you've got this amazing backyard sprawling out to the pool, hitting all the views. And we know we got a lot of rain this year. And so one of the beauties of that is everything is green and lush from everywhere you look. This house actually has a killer pool waterfall. Oh, oh there she is. Here comes the big spray. <laughs> Dropping in pool waterfall. You got an 18 foot Baja shelf to relax. Yep. Hot tub big enough for everyone in Beverly Hills. That's right. Yeah. It's tough to beat. All right, so we started in the back. This is the front. Started from the bottom, now we're here, right? Is that kind of what we're doing with? Hey. I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. You know, I do things like that when Matt Stomberg's around. We, we, we just get silly with it. When you walk in here, you get this beautiful, formal living area with the bar that leads indoor outdoor flow, which is really good in this house. Absolutely, yeah. Every room we're gonna be in in this house is gonna have some sort of flow on the first floor, either to the outdoors, the second floor, you're gonna see all the decking they did, which was amazing. Phenomenal entertainer space here. Obviously, again, like Josh said, amazing bar. One of the four fireplaces here, great mantel. And again, we're starting to see all these views still. So even from that first floor, which is really nice, we're getting a lot of those tree chops outside, which is great and green. You're gonna have four bedrooms upstairs, okay. including the primary. Downstairs, you've got access to both laundry and a staff area downstairs with its own access around the side of the house. Homes. With the staff, it's actually eight bedrooms. Eight bedrooms total, correct. So that is really rare. Uh, first of all, you don't just see a lot of eight bedroom houses uh, anywhere, right? Yeah. Because the typical family does five, maybe six in one of these big houses like this. To have eight uh, really appeals to a lot of the overseas uh, international crowd that do come through with the staff. Absolutely. Uh, and I think around $20 million to get eight bedrooms in prime Beverly Hills. That's a big deal. Come see this real quick. Yeah. So this is one of the many uh, bathrooms throughout the house. Come on, check it out. Look at that stone. I think that's cool. By the way, the art in this house is super cool. I yeah. don't know if you've seen some of this stuff. Uh, our client just has awesome taste in art, fun art like this throughout. Maybe Absolutely. you'll recognize it. In fact, should we go see some of the cool art really quick? One, <laughs> there you go. Two, some little cause dolls, three. <laughs> Look at this one. That's pretty cool. Love that. This is actually fun. How cool is that? A little Van Gogh Lego set. I mean, I kind of love that. Like that. That's cool, right? How does this painting make you feel, Josh? What is this a cartoon? I don't know. There's Matt. You know, in, Halloween is coming up. In the suit. Of See course. that? Oh, does that yeah. look like him? Come here. Come here. So we're stepping into the dining area now. Again, behind Mark, we're gonna have all this opening up to another fire pit area, stretching out to the yard. 
but very functional floor plan here. We're right off of the butler's kitchen, which is right behind this wall tucked away. So it's really nice to have this area tucked away and the kitchen away. So you've got nothing kind of distracting people you're entertaining. So outside of the dining area, you have this private butler's area just to prep to bring out to the uh, dining room table. It's nice, you do have a full wine fridge here as well. And that's not even close to what's downstairs, which is an amazing wine cellar. So now we're in the kitchen. Again, a very usable floor plan in this house. We've got a door that comes straight through your personal parking um, right off the laundry area. You're walking straight into this kitchen, great little family area, great dining or breakfast area in the front. Again, another fireplace. This is all gonna be situated directly off of your staircase, which is gonna service both all your bedrooms upstairs and the amazing area we're gonna see downstairs, as and well as that elevator we've got. So yeah, you have the elevator, which is great. This for me, this is you know the heart of the home, right? Yeah. This is where you hang out. You got the kitchen, breakfast nook, you can watch TV, kids can play around. And of course, you've got the view of your entire yard uh, and the pool. So I think this room is really what's gonna sell this house. About 12,000 feet on three different levels. So, you know, you can expect about 4,000 feet on each level and it's pretty evenly proportioned. Distributed. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're downstairs here on the bottom level. Doesn't get better than this. this I is mean, where for I a bottom be. level. Yeah. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't no basement. Yeah, the beauty of how they built this house, again, it's all in your, your bones and structure. You've got massive, massive skylights on either side of the house. So you actually don't feel like you're crammed in the corner of some basement down here. You got a lot of natural light coming in. and. With what you have down here, again, I would be spending a lot of time. Yeah, and look, excuse the look right now because furniture has been moved out. So we're just giving you uh, a quick peek before new stuff comes in. Mm -hmm. To the right of us, you have the gym and the spa. So let's look at the space there. This is where the future gym would be, or of course a flex space, or of course a ninth bedroom or something like that. But it does go direct into the uh, steam sauna and everything yeah. like that. You've got a nice little wet bar, powder bath, full steam shower, sauna as well. So you've got all the bells and whistles in this house. I mean, there's not a single thing this one misses. You gotta have a good bar. You gotta have a good place to go when the party gets a little later. You do have multiple bars. You do have yeah. the one upstairs in the entry in the formal living area. And then of course you have one down here because this, this is more of the, casual kind of play environment type Absolutely. of floor. Absolutely. I will tell you though, what we've seen a lot recently and where kind of a lot of like the world seems to be going these days, especially in their bar space is more, more on a health vibe, juicers, cleansing. So we're right off of this fitness area right now. So this could definitely be a coffee bar. Um, you could do espressos in the morning, something yep. like that, right after your workout, juicing. I mean, it could go a, a bunch of different ways. And this is built out, just so you know, we do have multiple refrigerators uh, here. Uh, so yes, it could definitely be a juice bar. You don't have to go back upstairs to uh, get anything. Let's go check out some whiskey because um, I get to see some very, very cool uh, wine cellars. Here, we did not set this up like this. So our cellar just has really good taste. All right, so we do have a movie theater in here. At the moment, we had just removed all the furniture. Uh, but just so you can see the size of this, you have an amazing sound system throughout, plus just on another level, uh, the owner is super tech savvy, yep. getting ready to uh, remove all of the furniture here. But we want to show you this house. What I do love about this, Echo. There we go. What we do love about this though, is you do have the parking here for about five or six cars. You do have the parking upstairs, upstairs as well for another five cars. So this is really a big time car yep. estate. This is the second area where you can park for the house. You have the six or seven cars down below, and then you have another four. Absolutely. Up here. You're gonna have a double gated driveway, which Mark will show you in, in some of the B-roll behind the scenes. But yep. again, very accessible. It really leads to the whole nature of the house of having an amazing floor plan, super usable, gonna be pretty much the most livable house we have on the market right now. Yeah, for this, this is like you pull up, you run in. If you wanna drop off some groceries in the kitchen, Absolutely. this is kind of your in and out parking area. By the way, pretty cool car too, huh? That's a 765 LT McLaren. That thing is badass. Yeah, it is. So that's speaking about badass, let's go see more of this badass house. All right, so uh, we are walking down. This is all the primary suite, which you can see. Beautiful space. Uh, you have multiple bathrooms, closets, and everything, but this is really where you get the big view, even though it is a very cloudy day today. But look at the light that comes yeah. in here. 
Again, your, your whole bedroom is surrounded by windows, so you're getting direct sunlight. The way the house is positioned as well, your sun is literally from sunrise to sunset, getting directly on the house all day long. So from this house, literally, the sun comes up every day and it goes down at the end of each day up here. It's crazy. <laughs> You're gonna get great sunlight throughout the entire house all day long, which is amazing. So we're right on the master deck right now. It is about 8.45 a.m. So we still got a little bit of the gloom. Obviously, Los Angeles known for the weather. This is all gonna burn off in a couple hours. Yep. But we're starting to see these views come around. We've got Wilshire Corridor to our right beyond that, Santa Monica and Malibu in the ocean. Century City right in front of us. And then directly this way, you got an amazing money shot of downtown. So we're here on the rooftop deck here on the top. You really have just 360 degree views, Absolutely. but also something pretty special behind us. Yeah, one of the most important things behind this house in Beverly Hills history is the Pickfair Estate. So this was actually built for Douglas Fairbanks in 1918. That's right. Way back when. And when it was first originally built, it was actually 18 total acres, which have now been essentially sectioned off and sold for other estates. That's but crazy. Structure still standing there. Life Magazine once described the Pickfair Estate as just a little less important than the White House. That's right, it was one of the major gathering spots for movie stars back in the day. Uh, if you wanna Google it, the Pickfair Estate, that's what's behind us. Can you imagine 18 acres? So when you look around at all these houses and you got like the Doheny Estate, yeah. you got Pickfair, there were basically like five to 10 houses that were originally here back in the day uh, that ruled all of these hills. And this was one of them. So everything that you would see would have been part of this estate. If you're into history like that, that is one of the most special, most important houses in all of Los Angeles behind us. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for joining us today with my boy, Matt Stomberg, Altman Brother Assassin. 12,000 square feet, you got main house, guest house, half an acre on the market right now for 19995. That's right, best price house in Beverly Hills proper. We will see you next time. Thanks for hanging with us. If you want to see the house, hit us up. We'll give you the tour. All right, you ready? Let's, Let's do go. It. Let's go. <laughs>